Let's take a dive into Aircraft Fuel Systems, ATA Chapter 28. We're going to do a bit of a deep dive on this aircraft particularly. This is an Airbus 321neo, but it also coincides with all Airbus A320 family. The subsection we're going to talk about is the overpressure protection system. Come along with me as we proceed with our walk around and we're going to go take a look at the wing. The wing has many components, everything from fixed fairings as well as movable fairings as well as panels, the fuel panels, the oval ones that you see right there. But we are going to be focusing on something very particular. These little openings, these little holes at the bottom of the wing with the little X's on them. These are overpressure protectors. There's one on the inner cell and as well as on the outer cell. These are crucial components of safety when it comes down to the integrity of the fuel tank. The overpressure protector in the vent surge tank as well as the inner tank makes sure that the pressure in the vent surge tank is not more than the specified limit. If the flow of air in or out of the surge tank is blocked, the overpressure protector breaks the seal and releases the pressure, equalizing it. Mind you, the 321 or 320 family does not have a jettisoning system, but if fuel enters the vent surge tank and causes an overpressure to break, then this fuel will go overboard. The component or the disc itself is made out of carbon and will simply shatter and break to equalize the pressure. Now here's a fun little fact for you, or a modification I should say. The initial stages when they built the aircraft they didn't have it and the aircraft itself made a very peculiar noise on descent you see the opening at the bottom of the wing it looks much like a open bottle what happens when you blow air on top of the bottle it makes a peculiar noise doesn't it well let's listen to it let's listen to it without the modification Yep, this was happening on descent all the time. Not only was it becoming very noise abruptive to the airports, but as well as to the passengers. The solution, literally a little piece of metal equipped right in front of that little hole. Give big thanks to Lufthansa because their incredible engineering team came up with a simple solution. Install a little vortex generator. But the vortex generator is not for laminar flow. It's literally to disrupt the flow of air over the top of that hole. And guess what? It worked perfectly. It worked so perfectly that Airbus even themselves implemented it into their design. It broke up the airflow going over that hole and it no longer makes that noise. Now it sounds like a regular airplane like this. Hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching and it's always amazing to see how aircraft get modified and engineered and made better day by day take care have a good one